Greetings, I'm Simone with Amazon Web Services. In the next two minutes, I'll show you how to create one terabyte of cache on Amazon ElastiCache. This is the management console for Amazon Web Services. I want to change the default security group for my ElastiCache and I want to enable my web servers to be able to connect. Status is authorizing and now authorized. It means that I can just launch my cache cluster now. I can give it a name, cache cluster one. I can pick the biggest node type, which has 68 gigabytes of RAM, and I want to launch 16 of them. I don't need any additional configuration. The default is enough for me. And once I'm satisfied with the configuration, I can launch it. The cluster will be creating and after a few minutes this cluster will be up and running or available. If you click on the cluster name you can see the description of this cluster as well as the multiple nodes running on this cluster and of course you can get access to the CloudWatch metrics about every machine in the cluster. You can also copy the node endpoint in order to allow your applications to use it. And of course, you can also take a look at the parameter for this cache cluster. Here they are. And of course, you can also take a look at the cache events. In this case, the cache nodes that we just added. You can, of course, modify, reboot, or when you're finished, delete this cache cluster. So it's pretty easy to do it. And as I told you, just a couple of minutes to do it. More details, of course, on aws.amazon.com slash elasticache.